Starting in November, you're going to need a picture ID to vote in Missouri. Our Missouri Chief Capitol Bureau reporter Emily Manley explains from Jefferson City what else is in the largest elections bill the governor signed into law today. Right now, all you need in the state of Missouri to vote is a current utility bill with your name and address, your voto ID card, or even a student ID. But later this year, only government-issued photo IDs will be allowed. It's a goal Republicans have been working on for years. I think this is probably one of the most important pieces of legislation we've done in a long time. A big win for the GOP. The governor signing off Wednesday on a large elections package, which includes requiring photo ID to vote. What it does is what every election should do. It makes sure that it's easy to vote, it's harder to cheat, and the people can have trust in the results afterwards. Back in 2020, the Missouri Supreme Court blocked the Secretary of State's office from requiring photo ID to vote. This time, Jay Ashcroft is confident the courts will side with the state on the new law. I'm kind of used to being sued on different things. Uh, unfortunately, I think when you're doing what's right, when you're standing up for what you should be doing, people are going to sue you because they don't like that. The bill was debated in the Senate for nine hours before Democrats successfully added a provision. Two weeks of no excuse absentee voting. It was part of a compromise. I am a big supporter of people going in person on election day to vote. But the minority party in the House stressed their frustration at the end of session. I would say that is probably the biggest disappointment of this legislative session for us was that bill passing the finish line. Other organizations say this requirement makes it harder for people to vote. The Secretary of State's office is empowered by this law to get free IDs for people that for whatever reason don't have one. The legislation also prohibits touchscreen voting machines, bans ballot boxes, and requires groups registering voters to check in with the Secretary of State. Now, this new law doesn't go into effect until the end of August, which means it won't affect the August 2nd primary, but you'll need a photo ID to vote in November. Reporting from Missouri Capitol Bureau, I'm Emily Manley.